How about we take a look at a rear pannier bag? Hey guys, welcome back to Bike Geeks. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've got a lot coming for you. Um, I'm going to start here with one of the rear pennier sets that I was uh, sent. Uh, these are from a company called Axiom, and this is their Seymour Ocean Weave P55, uh, is what they're called. Essentially, <clears throat> they're called the Ocean Weave because they're actually made from recycled fish nets, uh, fishing nets, which is an awesome recycling job. Good job, guys, there. Um, and I can honestly tell you, I did a big ride with these just recently, a little over a month ago. These are awesome. Um, at first, I didn't know if I really liked how it mounted on my on my bike and or on my rack. Um, I was kind of up and down a little bit with it. I'm not as keen to panniers as I am to other bag types, and uh, but I wanted to give them a full, thorough review. Did a nice big ride with them. Reflame fishnets is right there, and they're pretty awesome actually. So they have a full access interior. I'm gonna get actually in here closer. Drawstring outside pouches both side uh, actually this you should be facing the back but I have them on I tried them both ways to see which one if any if I if I saw a difference either way or not I did not um, so this last time when I put them on I, I put them on for it with the pouches facing forward uh, I actually did that on purpose so I could actually access stuff in here while I was riding um, in the end I really didn't do it but that's why I did it that way uh, but they do have actually a light clip on here, so if you face them the opposite direction, which means you just take this one and put it on the other side, uh, then you have a light clip towards the back. So let me get a little bit closer here so you can see what the interior looks like. And uh, I don't have it full of stuff right now, but I do have some stuff in here. So as you can see here, the, the there's actually a drawstring that you pull this tight, and then when you actually have this cinched down, there are uh, two strap two uh, clips. And that basically keeps any kind of water out. Uh, it does actually droop over the bag really good. So when you do have this full, and I had these full, full, um, it actually seals really good. I wasn't worried about any rain or water ever getting in. Inside here right now I have my some of my cooking stuff. I just, whatever was uh, laying here when I removed everything else. Some uh, meals that I did not use on the trip. Um, I have granola bars, cheese, stuff like that in here. All ready for my next trip. Um, or when I take everything out of here. They do have a, a zip bag on the front, which I uh, had some uh, GoPro accessories that I threw in this bag. Uh, you have what typically would facing forward, just an elastic quick access item there, which I have a couple tools in. And then you have another zipper bag here. Uh, and this is where I was actually keeping some stuff that I wanted to have quick access to. I also keep some extra garbage bags, things like that for on the journey. Pack in, pack out. So, uh, but yeah, and, and it's the same on the other side. Uh, let me uh, back up here and give you a little different view. So on my, this is my Axiom uh, fat uh, bike rack that I already did a review on, and obviously how it's going to be on here. On the inside here, if you can see, there's actually a little plastic clip, and that's on either side. And as long as you push that in, then you can just lift up and take it off. It's a real quick and easy uh, point access system, so you have the hooks up here, and then this that actually is adjustable, so you can adjust it based on your bicycle. So. I'll show you how I had it before. We'll put this one on this side. Basically, this uh, clip here just slips in between the frame. And on this rack, we're going to mount it on the back section. And then that's the, actually the way that it was meant to go uh, because you do have the light clips down here if you so desire to use so. But like you saw, you can go either way with the bag. So if you want this bag running forward or the other one running back, it doesn't really matter. It can work either format. So the. Uh, Seymour, the Ocean Weave Seymour uh, P55. I have nothing but great things to say about it, to be honest. Um, you know, if you're looking for a, a more of a dry bag type where you actually roll and fully seal the bag, even if you were to submerge it, this is not the bag you're going to be looking for. If you're worried about anything like that, then maybe look for a, a, a dry bag type. But for upright type encounters, this I have nothing but great things to say about this bag. Uh, you have the daisy chain on top to actually tie things, some things on to while you're going. Uh, it worked great with my trunk bag. Uh, on this rack, I still had the full rack access on the top yet, and it worked great for with uh, one of my trunk mounts, which I will have a review out here shortly with a trunk box. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And I have a lot more reviews for uh, maybe some of the other stuff you're actually seeing on the bike right now. So. Um, love the bag. Thank you, uh, Axiom, for sending these over because I have nothing but great things to say about them, to be honest. So, uh, if you have any questions about the Seymour 
uh, P55. Let me know. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have anybody that has ax or has used Axiom bags in the past, hey, let me know what you think. If you have a specific bag recommendation, I'd like to check it out. Uh, send it my way. If nothing else, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I will put links down in the description where you can purchase these. But like, uh, subscribe, and let me know what you think down in the, in the messages. Otherwise, share the video if you can. We'll catch you back here on Bike Geeks for a future review.